The aid trap is based on a simple premise that we can make progress to end global poverty, but the road to hell is paved with good intentions. We've spent more than a trillion dollars on foreign aid since the Second World War with devastatingly poor results. But we can do better, but to do so, we've got to center it on local business. That's what the aid trap's about. One of the great advantages of the approach of the aid trap is that individuals can very much get involved. Business school students from Columbia Business School, where Bill and I teach, are active on the ground in Africa, helping to train entrepreneurs, helping to train those who teach entrepreneurs. The business community needs to lead here, much as the business community led the original Marshall Plan uh, in the 1940s. There are many ways to get involved, not just through NGOs. There's nothing wrong with NGOs focusing on charitable aid. That's very important, as a matter of fact. But economic aid really has to be channeled through the business sector. That's the way it's worked in every country that's grown to be prosperous and the way it will have to work in the world's poorest countries. We can do this, but it requires a reorientation of aid. This is exactly the right time for a reorientation in aid. First of all, the question should be, given the amount of money that the West has spent uh, on aid in the past few decades, why have we not gotten the results in the poorest countries? This is a moral imperative for the industrial world. But to do this, we have to channel some of the money that we're spending on current aid programs directly to business, much as the Marshall Plan did for Europe after World War II. The Marshall Plan was an extremely successful program in Europe, but it wasn't what many in the public believe. The Marshall Plan was very much centered on local business aid, which then repaid money to governments for use in infrastructure. The same could be done in Africa. Africa today, of course, is not like what Europe was in 1947, but there were parts of Europe that were very poor in 1947. Greece, for example. The Marshall Plan structure still works. Despite some economic progress in Africa in recent years, we can't say that the current aid system is working. Uh, commodity booms of recent years have certainly benefited some sub-Saharan African countries. But the real question is long-term sustainable growth, as we've seen in Asia, as we've seen in Europe, as we've seen in North America. For that to happen, we have to have an invigorated local business sector. Bill Duggan and I have long had an interest uh, in aid from the industrial world to the poorest nations coming from some different places. Bill spent many years in Africa working for the Ford Foundation. I've been concerned with ways in which entrepreneurship can lift countries out of poverty. I had worked very closely with President Bush on the development of his Millennium Challenge account uh, for the poorest nations of the world. I think what Bill and I do in this book is take an idea like that to the next big step. How do you really invigorate local business? That's what the book's about.